How's it going? This is a quick stream to demonstrate how you would install Manifold on Reclaim Cloud. So I will get right into it, but if you are wondering, Manifold, and let me, let me kind of minimize myself here. Manifold is a open source publishing platform that um, many presses use to actually um, create a journal or use for OER, open source kind of um, resources, etc. So this was developed um, between Cast Iron Coding and the City University of New York at the Grad Center. And um, Tim Owens has already written a guide for this. And you can find this in Reclaim Support. I updated this just today because the version that you would use in Docker, which, which is what I'll be de demonstrating, was outdated. And then I'll take you through the process step by step, but you also, in the link here to the video, you'll get a link to this guide, which is a great step-by-step -step walkthrough. So without any further ado, I am going to go and start a Docker engine because we will be installing this on Reclaim Cloud, and I'll start this with a Docker engine instance. So how I do that, and I'll get rid of myself here, is I'll go to a custom area, click on Docker engine, and then I'll name this Manifold Scholar, and then I'll just call this Manifold Scholar to keep it clear. And I'll make sure I spell that right. I'm putting it in the UK because that's closest to me, but we have four different data centers you can choose from. Um, and then you can click install. And at this point, um, the Docker engine instance will start installing and that will take a little bit. So while that does install, it's worth looking a little bit at some of the documentation we'll be using to get this instance of Manifold up and running. Here is the Manifold site. It's at manifoldapp.org. And they do have some good um, get started documentation, which will take you to um, installation, various, you can do it through a package, through Docker, and um, a source install. We're gonna use Docker, um, just so you know. But there are other ways if you wanted to run this app, you could. But if I go down to the Docker details, there's the first bit where we're gonna get um, the Docker Compose file from Manifold Scholar's GitHub account. So we'll just be cloning those files over. So that's the first um, thing we'll be looking at. And I'm gonna go check back on R and it's still working. Um, so we're gonna actually wait for that to install. But you'll notice once we pull in the files, there's a couple of things we have to change in the environment file, which is manifold.env, and we'll look at that. We basically gotta change the local host IP to the domain we'll be using, and then we're gonna update this tag. We won't be pulling version 7.0.0 release candidate five. We'll be pulling 6.0.0. I had some issues with this because I was actually trying to pull um, this version and it wasn't working. So the less stable version, which is 6.0.0 did work. So just wanted to keep you updated. And then we'll be updating this port, but I don't wanna get ahead of myself. Let's go back and see if our Docker engine is installed. And it will actually finish here in a second now, because whenever it gets to this piece, it's all but done. So let me jinx myself and sit here, bam. There it is. Okay, so now that Docker Engine is installed, we can go in through SSH, but before I do, there's a couple of things I wanna do. I wanna to go to the environment and I wanna make sure two things are happening. That SSL is enabled, and this will allow us to use the shared SSL. Um, it is disabled, um, so let me just go back here. So I'm gonna turn on built 
just do that. There it is. Awesome. I'm going to get rid of this. For some reason, they put in a load balancer. We don't want that. So I'm just going to double click this. And we're going to make sure the other thing is that we don't, that our Docker instance does not have an IP address. It doesn't need one. So the Docker engine does not need an IP address um, because we're going to be using this on a subdomain of reclaim.cloud. And we're going to make sure that SSL, which is a shared SSL cert, is basically active. This means you don't need to get a public IP address or you're going to use a shared one and you don't need to get a Let's Encrypt certificate, which makes things a little easier. So I'm going to apply those changes and they will apply. And once they do, we're going to install Manifold. Okay. And you'll see it's removing the IP address. Um, and at the end, when I said it's a subdomain, this is manifoldscholar.uk.reclaim.cloud. And what this means is we can use a shared IP and a shared um, SSL cert so we don't have to map a domain and we don't have to get a Let's Encrypt, nor do we have to pay for an IP address. So for a test, this is a perfect solution. You can map a domain, but that's a separate issue and we will not cover that in this video. Okay, so now that we have that done, we are going into the web SSH and we are going to go right from the root and we're going to copy in that git clone of the Manifold Scholar Docker Compose git file. So we're going to do that and all of that should download. And then after that, we're going to actually edit the environment file. So if we go to list, we'll see there's a manifold-docker-compose file. We want to change into that. And we will. And then if we list again, we'll see there's the Docker Compose file, which we will edit in a second. And there's also an environment folder. So I want to go into that environment folder. And I want to, again, list. And I see the manifold.env file. I want to edit that. And I edit using nano. So it's nano and then manifold. Let me say if I spelled that right. <laughs> manifold.env. And then I click that, and then I see the contents of that file. Now what I want to do is I want to change this domain to be the domain I set up when I started this, which is manifoldscholar.uk, which is the data center, dot reclaim, dot cloud. And then that's going to also be the case for these URLs here. You'll notice I'm getting rid of the... Um, port as well. And there's a reason I'm doing that. The other thing I'm doing is I'm specifying it to be HTTPS. So be sure to do that as well. So manifold scholar dot UK dot reclaim dot cloud. And I'll do that one more time. I'll keep that cable directory, but I will go and erase everything else. Keep the HTTPS. Go here, do manifold scholar.uk.reclaim.cloud. And I didn't put the dot in there, so I want to make sure that's right. I'll check my work. Everything looks good. And so now I'm going to leave SSL enabled false. And I think now I can save this. And I will. So that's a control X and then a yes or Y to make sure I write my changes. And now the environment file has been updated with the URL I'll be using for this account. The other thing I need to do is go back in the previous directory list and I wanna now edit. So nano docker-compose.yaml. I wanna edit that file, the yaml file for docker compose. And what I wanna do here is I wanna get rid of this running on the 4,000 Port. It's by default running on port 4000. We can change that under the ports area in Docker Compose. And what I'm going to do is just make this 8080 so it runs off of the native web port. And 40, 443 is actually the HTTPS port. So I'm going to change those ports and I'm going to control X, save my changes, 
And at this point, I should now be able to run the Docker file. Now, what I need to do here, and I'm gonna change my um, window for a second, is I've done this, and now I'm gonna go here and grab this next command, which I'm using the documents from Manifold. But one of the things to look at here is when I copy this in, give me one second, you'll notice it says version 700 release candidate five. And as I said earlier, that's not the version we'll be using. The version we'll be using is the latest stable version, which is version 6.0.0. So once we do that, it's manifold tag version 6.0.0 Docker compose up dash D, which is daemon, which means it will run in the background. And at this point, Docker's doing its thing. It's grabbing all the different dependencies and it's building the server environment. Um, there are a few uh, different pieces it's building together, but this is a beautiful kind of visual of what Docker does, right? It uses that YAML file to basically compose all the different server elements of this container so that it can run Manifold very kind of targeted for that app kind of a cool thing, a little bit hypnotic to watch it pull and extract all these different elements. So I'll let this happen and I'll be quiet for a second, which is not easy for me. <laughs> See, it's hypnotic. Great, so we're almost there. And at the point it completes, there's one last thing we're gonna need to do. So I'm gonna let that pull. And the final thing we're gonna need to do, and I'm gonna go to Tim's um, very excellent documentation for this, because at the end of his documentation, there's a final command, and you have to run this command to specify a user name, email, and password. So that's the last piece, and that's what we'll do once this finishes, which it should finish right after Elasticsearch is pulled, extracted, and set up. Oh, I was wrong, it's pulling. Nginx now. <laughs> See, you can watch it. And there it is. It is done. So we'll test if it's working in a second. But before we do, I want to copy in this command and I'm going to fill in the details within the command line. And this is the command I just took from Tim's document. And this is basically where I am going in and specifying my name. I'm going to just keep this secure email, um, and then I'm going to put my admin username, which is actually an email, here. And I think that worked. And then I'm going to copy that in a second. But once I do this, reclaim hosting, there it is. It's going to run a few commands, and then I will now have an admin user, which is a beautiful thing. We'll send a warning, but I would disregard that warning. And then it's actually setting everything up. And in fact, it is done. That's beautiful. Okay, so now let's go test our progress and see if this worked. So I'm gonna go to Manifold Scholar. There it is. And we have a, this is actually an interesting error and it went away, but when you see that error, usually it means there's a problem with HTTPS. I had this installed before, so I think it took a bit and you saw when I refreshed it, it's now working fine. But if you do see that 503 red error, there's probably an issue with HTTPS and that running cleanly over 
um, over um, a certificate. So keep that in mind. Final bit is we're gonna try and log in. So I am gonna grab that and I think I have my password here somewhere that I can play with. Let me grab that, here it is. I'm gonna just take it from Tim's document again. And then I'm gonna go in here, put in that password, and then, as you can see, I can now get in admin mode and use Manifold and do all sorts of cool things with publishing. So that is a quick tutorial on how to get up and running with Manifold in Reclaim Cloud. I hope it was useful. Um, I am always kind of have fun doing these and uh, I think it's hopefully useful. It is container month at Reclaim Hosting. So doing this off also gets me in a situation where I can actually share and help people think through apps um, like this. So anyway, thanks again and see you soon.